Hey guys, Mike at Wildcat Creek. We have the one and only, the famous, worldwide known metal detector by Harbor Freight. This is the nine function, not the six function. This is the nine function, and um, it's the one with a hole in your coil, okay? The six function, I don't know about, I've never used, I've heard it was good, I've heard it was bad. This one I have used, I bought it on kind of a lark, uh, you know, bought one like this four years ago. And I think it was around 40 bucks when I got it then, but I used a coupon. These things are $60 now. Um, using a coupon or getting, catching them on sale, you can get them for around 50 Just saying, at Harbor Freight, they come with a 90-day warranty from Harbor Freight. Um, the... Um, See them on Amazon and eBay, and they're going for like $75, $80. Just, you know, just to give you a heads up. Uh, and, you know, this is a basic metal detector. And I found several hundred dollars in clad coins with this. Old coins, uh, you know, some jewelry. The, the standard stuff is a coin and ring machine. This is not made for gold prospecting, okay? Okay. Uh, no matter what they tell you, that's just not, just not for that. Coin and rings, it's a fine. And this is what I would consider an entry-level machine. Uh, it's analog. It's a beep and dig. There's no real meter on here that tells you anything. In fact, this target indicator is practically worthless. Um, it does have a low battery light. It's got an on-off volume switch. Uh, it's got a discriminator. 0 to 10, it's got a sensitivity switch, and you have a mode switch to discriminate all metal, and you can hunt in tone. Uh, I have found from my own experience, that, you know, that I hunt and discriminate, but it has a battery compartment back here. It can holds uh, six AA batteries. Right now I've got some uh, Procells Duracells in there. This is not waterproof, even though the coil on this detector is waterproof down here, supposedly. Uh, and you can stick it in the water, like, you know, up to there. Once you tilt this back, and you've got water in the tube after you've stuck it down in there, it runs right into your battery compartment electronics, your detector's cooked. So if you're going to be hiding in the water, be sure and uh, at some point on this tube here, fill it up with a uh, caulk. You know, silicone caulk somewhere in here to keep that water from running back down. Put silicone around this wire where it goes into, or it'll run down the wire. Go right into your uh, electronics area and just cook your detector. So, you know, that's one of the hazards of water hunting. Uh, this thing gets about, you know, six inches, seven inches deep, depending on your soil. Air test. Uh, let's do some air testing here. Let's turn this baby on. Going to put it in all metal, sensitivity 10. Discriminate not, not in all metal, and we will take a uh, let's take a dime, see what kind of depth we're getting. About you know seven or eight inches, quarter, about the same. Doesn't matter, size doesn't seem to matter. Full, same, all metal. We Nails, oh, they sound so good. A nice, rusty, juicy nail. Just, oh, I know you're dying to dig some of those up. Okay, this is a, it's a VLF, very low frequency. I think it's around 6 kilohertz. I can't remember. I've lost my uh, instruction book. And like I say, I've been through three of these. Build quality is not that good. You can, these are some of the repairs I've made to this thing. Because this handle right here and I've had three of these machines this handle tears off right around 80 hours of use <laughs> the handle just comes right off of it so I've got it glued with epoxy and everything else I've had I had one one of them came off twice started putting these L brackets on there and if you do this make sure you drill where there's no electronics inside or you you know run your detector um, got a carabiner on there this uh, arm support is not that good, and um, what's that squeaking? <laughs>
take some getting used to is, you know, this is Chinese, okay? The detector does work. Like I say, it's basic uh, elemental uh, entry level detectors. Supposedly it's got auto ground balance. It seems to have some kind of ground balance. That's, that's good. Um, pinpoint button here. And that the pinpoint works really well. Um, it's got a low battery indicator if that light comes on when you turn it on and stays on you need to change your batteries uh, and you need to mark your discriminator i've got mine marked but uh it's been through so much i can hardly see them i need to remark it you can see marks here let's put it in discriminate okay and we will we're gonna we've got a nail here we're in discriminate right now Hear that achy breaky? Okay, this has got see-through abilities. We'll take a copper penny, put it beneath the nail. The nail by itself, but the nail in front of the penny, I mean, it's in front of the penny, okay? Between the nails, between the detector coil and the penny. That's what you call see-through. This detector has that. Uh, you know <laughs> and when you mark your discriminator you want to mark nickel where a nickel disappears at you want to mark on here which is on this detector is right here so nickel should be gone wait a minute nope nickel's right there that's iron that's the iron okay nickel gone okay and you want to hunt with nickel just back up to the other side of your mark you got nickels and uh, what's important about nickels a lot of gold sounds like nickels so you know you'll have to study that and find out okay then we have the zinc penny here's a zinc penny right here i got it cut out put it back in cut out okay zinc penny um copper penny Let's cut it out and we'll do the dime. Copper penny and dime, they ride together pretty much. Um, no dime, no copper penny. Oh, you'll be digging this quarters. Oh, gotta love that. And you're getting about six inches on the quarters. So, you know, this is a great detector. Quarters only, great for a beginner. Quarters are easy to see in the dirt. You can get by digging with a screwdriver because the pinpoint is that good and um, that is a uh, kind of a introduction to this detector uh, you know let's try recovery time put a, some corn down this detector does have some good recovery time let me make sure we're in discriminate Go back down a little bit where we pick these coins up. Yeah. Not that good. But look at the, uh, you put these a coil, coil with the part piece, a piece. Yeah, that's, that's some good recovery time. Uh, Something else we'll check is uh, do a Monty nail board. Real quick on the Monty nail board test. Let me see here. We have Monty nail board and we have a Indian head penny. That is, uh, what is that? Can't tell, I cannot see without my glasses on guys, but it's like 1902 or something like that. Who knows, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, see how it's with the nails. We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four. We'll see how it does. Okay, we're doing one. Yep, it's there, we'll do two. It's there, we'll do three. We'll do four. Nailed it all the way around. Hey, so you know, entry level detector, 50 bucks, guys. Hey, you can, this one paid for my F22 actually. Uh, like I say, 
be prepared to make repairs. Uh, you know, the rest of the community will be laughing at you digging with this. I wasn't paying attention to them. I've dug with guys with their mine labs and AT pros and all that with this detector and found, you know, just the same stuff they were finding, okay? So don't buy into all the hype. Yeah, there are a lot better metal detectors, but if you get out and work this one, do the right thing, you know, know your detector, know your metal detector. And uh, I've got a video on bit shoot. I've got some videos left on bit shoot about this detector. I'll put a link below and uh, you know, about how to mark your detector. And uh, just letting y'all know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Not everybody is actually, uh, will actually enjoy metal detecting. A lot of people want to try it and they're going to find treasure and all that. And they get, you know, they get into it and it's not for them. And then they're stuck with an expensive detector they're trying to sell. And uh, this way, you know, you're not you're not in it that deep. And it lets you, you can find out whether you're really going to enjoy detecting and want to upgrade or not. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. We will see you later. Bye-bye.